Hello Darklings! So it's been a really long time since I've done a DIY update and I know that people really like them. It's been more than six months and I didn't realize how long it had been until I checked my video archive and saw, oh my goodness, I have been denying everybody the stuff I have made. Uh, so I'm going to start with a couple of things that are just finished projects of my own that aren't for sale. Uh, and I'd mentioned that I had like a death rock style blazer before that I'd worked on and was partially completed. Well, now it is completed. So I have Vampire's Ghoul Gang on the back, which I painted. Um, then a bunch of patches surrounding it, which is an immense mess, and I wonder if I can get through all of them. 45 Grave, Concrete Blonde, The Dead Boys, Wednesday 13, Him, Velvet Underground and Nico, Iggy Pop, Christian Death, The Sex Pistols, Voltaire are all on the front. Down on this sleeve, I have Calabrese, Lacuna Coil, The Cult, The Dam, The Sisters of Mercy, Specimen, The Germs, uh, Shadow Windhawk and the Morticians, uh, AFI and Switchblade Symphony. On the other sleeve, I have Alien Sex Fiend, Skinny Puppy, The Dresden Dolls, The Birthday Masker, The Cramps, The Virgin Prunes, Dead Can Dance. Depeche Mode, Fangs on Fur, No FX, uh, T-Rex, and My Chemical Romance. <laughs> some of these are painted by me and some of them are uh, purchased. It's kind of a mix mash. And then on the front, we have William Control, Creature Feature, Susie and the Banshees, London After Midnight, uh, Bauhaus, The Misfits, Emily Autumn, Rob Zombie, Christ vs. Warhol. I think that's everything. I also have a slew of buttons on the front of here, all of which are band related too. So I have Kraftwerk, The Damned, Led Zeppelin, Bowie, Nick Cave, The Smiths, Green Day, AFI, Alice Cooper, Depeche Mode, The Misfits, The Horror Pop, Shadow Windhawk, and The Morticians again, Angel Spit, Patti Smith, My Chemical Romance, The Ramones, Television, KMFDM, Duran Duran, TSOL, Adam Ant, The Red Paintings, Christian Death, and then I have this one random button that has a picture of a Ouija board and it says, ask me anything. So I think I got everything. Yeah, this is, this is uh, quite the creation of mine. And it's like half and half buttons that I've, I've found in thrift stores, punk shops. About half of the patches were made by me, about the other half I bought. I can't really, oh, I missed one. There's UK Decay over here. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff on here and it's really hard to showcase it properly. Maybe I'll do a photo shoot where you can see it for real, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Uh, another thing of mine, which hasn't had that much done to it and is a work in progress, is just this, um, wet seal jacket I got in like early high school and I painted CBGB's logo up on top and punk rock on this like patterned fabric inspired by Hedwig and the Angry Inch. It's in the same font and style. Uh, the only patch that I've sewn on here is Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm going to just cover this in like horror movie related patches. I have stuff for Suspiria and Texas Chainsaw and Zombie and all kinds of things. I have a bunch of buttons at the top though. I have Zombie, Repo Genetic Opera, Elvira, Army of Darkness, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Rocky Horror Picture Show, The Mummy, The Omen, Jaws, Nightmare on Elm Street, Horror of Dracula, Frankenstein, The Wolfman, Fright Night, Poltergeist, More Repo, Beetlejuice, Vampira, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, City of the Living Dead, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Return of the Living Dead, and Halloween. So this is just kind of a fun one that I can just cover in whatever the fuck I feel like as long as it's movie related. So this will be fun when I actually get around to finishing it. Who knows when, because I have so many jackets that I'm in the progress of anyway. And then there's this last one that I had a completely different look for it, took all the stuff off of it and redid it, which is a Vietnam era army jacket I found in a thrift store for like $15 and started covering with shit, which I then took off and redid a few months ago. So I have a Christian death patch up here. I have a patch that says Horror Junkie. This one I painted, this one I did not. There's one I did paint down here. Every hero is the villain of his own story. There's a fan of the opera pin, a button I made that has Bowie's mugshot. An angel spit button, another button I made out of something out of my sketchbook. A labyrinth button, Monster Mania, Beetlejuice. A little uh, plastic bat that fell off of a ring that I stitched onto there. 
There's like studs across the back that I put on there. Uh, pat, a button that says Bite Me, a castle, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the Smiths. I have Susie Sue up here. Um, another button I made with one of my sketches that says Give Me Air Conditioner, or Give Me Death. That's circulated on my Tumblr. Be Yourself, Everyone Else is Taken by Oscar Wilde. Dracula, as in Old School Vlad the Impaler. Old School Lon Chaney from London After Midnight, some ridiculous pendant. Easy Street Records, which I got in Seattle. A little coffin-shaped patch my friend Trini made me as part of an art trade. Little Miss Doom and Gloom down here. And from when I was still in Savannah, Grayface Records was the place I would go to all the time that I would find good stuff in. Uh, Coyote Nation by my friend Elise, who is Oak Thorn Studios on Etsy. Ghoul, uh, Lunatics Asylum patch that I got from a punk store. On this side, I got Edgar Allan Poe. I got Vampires from Outer Space for uh, an, a South Carolina horror punk band, The Independents, and a neo-noir patch on the bottom. On the back, keeping it fairly simple and quoting A Clockwork Orange's real horror show. Ugh, I just don't quite have the energy to talk about that forever. Now, into the vests that are for sale, which are a little bit more fun. So this is a very tiny little denim vest I found thrifting a while ago. I actually, a couple of these I did in December and they still haven't sold because people haven't bought them. Like my feelings are kind of hurt. I thought they were nice. So I stitched some little black leaves on the front, put some little black pyramid studs, stitched a little bit of this spider web fabric on top, put a row of pyramid studs, and then painted Lily Munster in a dry brush technique. Since I have been asked this question every single time I post something I modify, I just use cheap craft acrylic paint. It's been fine. You can get it at Michael's in a little bottle for $2 a bottle, and it lasts for a while. Moving on. Another thrift find is this pretty nifty uh, wool jacket that has these cool buttons that I painted to sort of look like eyes, if you can see that. Then on the back, I put the Angel of Death from Hellboy 2 because that angel is terrifying as hell and I love it. And this is a dry brush technique, so there's no black paint involved. It's just using the black of the jacket. Uh, I'm surprised no one's bought that because I really like it. I am very proud of myself. Then another thrift find, all of this is thrifted, is this white denim jacket that I put studs all over the front of, but on the back, put Here's Johnny and put Jack Nicholson from The Shining. That was one of the more difficult things for me to paint because Jack Nicholson's face in that infamous shot is so difficult to capture. Another one that I'm kind of sad hasn't sold and I guess she just doesn't have the fan base she used to is this kind of like acid wash, super 80s like denim jacket, that's, I think a large or something. Put some conical studs on the top and says, I don't mind if my skull ends up on a shelf as long as my name is on it. And then a button I made that has some punk chicks sitting on a wall. Um, painted on the side, NYC. There's some places where some patches used to be before I bought it. There's like an American flag patch that was on here when I found it. Vulture culture across the top and then Debbie Harry from Blondie. I'm kind of sad that no one has bought that one because I thought it turned out fairly nice and it's, it's pretty fun. And then again, with the thrift finds, uh, some conical studs on the shoulders, this pleather with a cheetah print on the inside, and then a button that says vampires suck, not that you can actually see that in the video, and then ta-da, Buffy. This is like the image that you have on the first, even, the first season DVD cover, where there's a super young Sarah Michelle Gellar with the super fluffy hair that has Mr. Pointy, so... I'm a big Buffy fan. I think I've made that pretty clear. And I think everybody should be a big Buffy fan because Buffy's pretty fantastic. Okay, again with the white denim vest I found from a thrift store that was already pre-dyed, which made my job slightly easier. Covered the front in studs, so it's all shiny, metallic, and heavier than necessary. Then on the back, keeping it pretty simple and not doing an image, I put, I killed the teen dream, deal with it, from Jawbreaker. So I thought that was pretty fun. Um, I don't really think it would have worked if I tried to do one of the popular girls from that movie as an image on there. Then this is a dress my friend gave me that she never wore. 
It's a trip dress, so it's pretty cool on its own. And then I painted Meg Mucklebones and the Lord of Darkness from Legend on the front. In a, again, dry brush technique. Didn't use any black paint. Just let the black of the fabric work for me. And then on the back, put Blix. Black as midnight, black as pitch, blacker than the foulest witch. I, I promise witch is on there. So, again, uh, I really like doing that dry brush technique. It's pretty fun. It's just um, putting down globs of color and hoping for the best, really, and uh, letting your brush dry out as you keep going over the same area. So, again, it is craft fabric paint that you can get from Michaels or Walmart. Don't ask me, please. I'm getting really tired of that question. Anyway, I hope you liked this video update. It's been a while since I've done one. Till next time, darklings.